Hey guys, so welcome back to Equine Rising. So since it's been such miserable weather lately, I haven't really been able to go out much. So what I'm gonna do this week's video is I'm just gonna do a muck out with me, show you all how to muck out of a pellet stable, showing you literally all that you have to do. And then I will go in and get puzzle. So since the muck out with me is going to be quite a short little clip, I thought I'd just pop in a few little clips of us out on our snow day, just having a little bit of a play around with Puzzle and you'll also get to meet his brother Tommy. So here I will roll those clips for you now. Look at them all coming down. <laughs> You're friendly, aren't you? This is one of the livery sources. First time you said hello to me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bless him, isn't he sweet? Right, so I'm just going to go up and play with Puzzy and Tommy in the snow for a little bit. Here's Tommy, always the first one down. Always. Hello, boy. Hello, Tommy boy. This is Puzzle's brother. Well, not his actual brother, but his owner's other horse. So. Yeah. He is a four year old. And he is a little cheeky boy. Here's my boy. Hello, Puzz. <laughs> yes, you're getting love too. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. They like both of you. I want your attention. Hey, Fuzzy. Thank you, good boy. You having fun in the snow? Ow. Thanks for that, mate. Thank you very much. Hey, gorgeouses. So, Tommy is so affectionate, as you can see. <laughs> but Puzzle is like the complete opposite. He'll just. Just stand there. <laughs> He'll come for cuddles sometimes, but not nearly as much as Tommy would. You having a good boy? You enjoying the snow? Sniffing away my boots. <laughs> God, what's so interesting about my boots? How funny. You really are nibble biting me today. Oh, they're so gorgeous, aren't they? Look how loving they are. It's just the cutest relationship, honestly. They love each other so much. They're such little gems. Well, Tommy's not. He's actually really naughty when he goes out on his own. He bucks all the time with his owner. So usually when he's in company, he's a lot better. But on his own, he's a little nightmare. Luckily, I've got the golden boy. Yes. This is Puzzle, my golden boy. Are you enjoying that cuddle? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, leave me alone, Tommy. I'm getting nice cuddles from Mum. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm just surrounded right now by horses. <laughs> Puzzle's being very curious. I think he wants to come in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Did you like that? Did you like eating my face? <laughs> Honestly. Okay, Puzzy. He will never leave me alone. Stop trying to eat my jacket. Stop it. <laughs> God, he's trying. You are so funny. Yeah. <sighs> right, so 
I'm just gonna leave them in for a bit. I'm gonna go grab myself, have a hot drink. But they've got all their hay out there because it's obviously all the snow is covering all the grass for them so they can't really graze. But yeah, bless them. See you soon, baby. <laughs> so, obviously, before it's been cleaned, this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm just gonna get all of his hay nets out, get everything out of the stable, and then I will talk you through the process of how to muck it out. And then obviously the purpose of wood pellets is that they can just be reused and reused for about three or four weeks and then you give a whole fresh bedding. So the main goal is that you don't disturb the stuff underneath that's all wet and that sticks to the floor and you just try and keep all the dry stuff as much as you can over the top. So the first step of it is obviously just to take out all the big food chunks that you can see just like this. So I'm just gonna get on with that now. So obviously just shake out all of the shavings so that you're not wasting any, you're not like throwing away any of the actual bedding. You literally just want the poo to go in the wheelbarrow. Okay, so this is what it will look like once you have filtered out all of the big bits of poo on top. So you guys are probably thinking, wow, that's easy. Is that it? No, that's not it. So once you've taken out all of the big bits of poo, one thing with wood pellets is that usually it, they'll like bury it underneath a little bit or it'll like go underneath. Um, like the top layer so a lot of the poo isn't actually visible so right now looks pretty clean all of these like wet patches here you literally leave all of that you don't take any of that out that just gets soaked up and it dries out and you can usually have if you make sure that you have a good thick bed when you first start it off then usually that will last you about three or four weeks so yeah, once you've filtered out all of the big bits of poo, now I will show you the next stage of it. And then you just literally like brush the top part of it. And then all of like other bits that have been buried underneath will start to come up. So yeah, just drag it across. You want as much as possible of the dry stuff on the floor, and then all the wet stuff goes to the bottom where it starts to soak up. You see, now that I've done all of that, you can see all of the little bits of poo that were stuck underneath. Just need to filter that through again, shake out all the bedding, pick those up.
this is what it looks like once it's been all freshened up so yeah you just level it out again try and drag as much of the dry stuff over the top as possible and leave like the wet stuff below but if you can't like that doesn't matter but just yeah definitely just don't disturb like the bottom layers of it so yeah once you've sorted all of that out then obviously just like tidy up the rest of it like all of this here just needs to be swept up and it just needs to be made to look nice and that is literally how simple it is like that's it that's all you have to do guys so in comparison to shore beds i bet you can imagine now how quickly it takes you <laughs> to do a muck out a wood pellet stable and how much time you will save so honestly it's definitely worth checking out if you've got a messy boy or girl who is on shore and you absolutely despise it definitely check out some wood pellets so yeah i'm just gonna make it look all pretty now fill up his hay nets do his water and then he's gonna pop in So as I was sweeping the rest of the stable, obviously you can see that there's a lot of hay on the floor where he's been munching away at it. So I just like to filter that out just so that he doesn't try and eat any of it and that his bedding doesn't get digested or anything. I'm a bit pedantic about things like that. Uh, you don't have to filter out the hay if you don't want to. That's just something that I personally like to do. So that's literally it guys it's so nice and simple nice and easy you can get your stable done so much quicker and honestly they're just so much cleaner and easy to manage like obviously if i had a straw bed there would literally be straw like all over this part like it's really difficult to manage and stuff but like look how clean that is it's just so nice So much easier to manage so yeah definitely recommend that so now I'm just gonna go and fill up his hay nets and then give him some fresh water and then we'll get him in and get him nicely groomed see you guys then
Oh my god, so since I've had been learning him it's been like so muddy and so horrible and today is the first time for like the past few days obviously it's been completely dry and his feathers are all dry and stuff so I've been able to brush them out and look how pretty usually they're all like matted and stuff they look so nice no I just had to show you that but yeah, that's me all done for today. He's all groomed up now. He's got two rugs on because it's bloody freezing today. And yeah, we will see you next time, guys. Hopefully we can go out for a nice ride next time. And I can show you a hack out with me on the GoPro. Will we? See you then. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will see you next time.